Hey everybody, I've got a standard rock and roll groove here for you, and you'll love it. Just stick around. We're on the sixth part of the origins of American music that I've got this series going on, and um, so we are on the sixth, the sixth part of it. The genre will be rock and roll music. It runs parallel with several other ones. It's the timeline kind of now they're branching off into um, different different areas running parallel so my next series will be um, on another one that's run parallel with um, rock and roll so the timeline isn't that rock and roll came before this genre it's just running parallel so it branched off into um, rock and roll we got rock and roll so like I say I'm Donald Witt if you haven't subscribed um, to my channel here I've got Lots of videos, little lessons, bass lessons. I'm the um, instructor for the online course I want to play bass.com. And here on YouTube, I put out a lot of little information and um, little tips and stuff like that. And right here recently, we've had a mini series going on of the origins of American music, starting from the settlers' days on into where we're at today. And so hit the bell notification. There's probably four more parts coming out. We have um, the first six, five or six are already out. And so check it out. It's definitely, definitely some fun information and stuff that you might not have known. And, you know, interesting stuff. What, what our music has done for our country and what, um, what the country has done for our music just in the way things were and how they are now but like I say check out my um, my online course I want to play bass.com I've also got some courses on Udemy that um, you can check those out just to get get familiar with it and, and decide whether or not you um, want to sign up for our online course um, we take you the whole nine yards we have um, setting up your base to soloing you know to um chord progressions breakdown music theory all the, the works everything's in there hundreds of videos so check it out um sign up if you want but definitely subscribe while you're there because there is a free ebook on how to set up your bass from adjusting the fret nut the neck relief um the pickups the saddles and it just gives you a lot of maintenance um information to help you take care of your of your bass and it's all in there, so yeah, definitely, definitely sign up for that. Get that free ebook. A lot of good information in there, and um, and check out Udemy and let's get started. I think that's everything. So we're so we're at um we're at our sixth part. I'm pretty sure I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure it's the sixth part of the of our mini series here. And um, you might not know, and if you don't don't you're going to be surprised of all the genres that were involved with forming rock and roll um, there are lots of them it's rock and roll was influenced by several several genres and you can see it all and once you know it you can kind of say that yeah that seems right you know that is definitely you recognize these genres in there and if you think you know all of them drop a comment down below and, and name them and um I'll tell you at the end of this section um, what they are, but yeah, you might know, but give it a shot. Shoot some comments down there. How many you think's in there, or or these genres, and name the genres that are in um, involved in um, rock and roll. But um, as I've talked about the rhythm and blues, the migration of the African Americans from the from the south to the north um, played a big factor, and would eventually form our rock and roll as well. And, and believe it or not, not the only thing that affected our rock and roll music was um, the, the creation of rock and roll music was the World War II, after, um, after World War II. And before the beginning of World War II, a lot of the, the big mainstream music at that time was the big bands. And um, the big band era was in effect. But when World War II came along, a lot of those men signed up for the war and were taken off for that. So the big band era was 
on the demise. It was definitely, I mean, it's still strong today. It's still an interesting, um, it's interesting time in, in our American period, but, um, but that World War II, a lot of the guys signed up and they went off to that. And at that time, the, um, the artists of the big bands were arguing and had disagreements with the music companies. So that also put a, took a toll on big band air. And so that it narrowed it down to where there weren't, there weren't the big bands anymore. It was the, the smaller, the single artists and the smaller groups were being formed and were becoming the norm at that time. And, um, and that was, that was just what it was. The smaller groups took a, you know, single guys went out and made big names for themselves. But also with the segregation in the forties, the R and B was loved by most people, but, but would never be played on mainstream radio. Um, only on the, the race music outlets, which was the initial name of the rhythm and blues because it was um, they were in they were only play that on the race outlets and they would only call it race music which as we learned in rhythm and blues um, the, the term rhythm and blues was coined um, in I think it was the 40s but um, so that was you know it was R&B was never played it was only played on these outlets and the white people they could only listen to the mainstream radio so they were listening to the big band airs and stuff like that they but they enjoyed the r&b a lot they really wanted to li listen to it and fortunately the um this gentleman this disc jockey from um, cleveland ohio he coined the term rock and roll thankfully and that was alan freed and um that was in 1951 he coined that term and um the term it allowed by him using the rock and roll term creating that term it allowed him to be able to play a wider variety of music and and a lot of the black artists could could be played now on mainstream radio because of the term um, and and rock and roll incorporated so many artists and was and was so catchy so this was the beginning of rock and roll and it was thankfully coined um, Alan Freed started that and now black artists would be able to play um, more on the mainstream radio mainstream channels so you can say rock and roll integrated America this this music that, um, that everybody enjoyed everybody loved the, the blacks and the whites they all loved this music and you know there was no there was no disagreements about that at all. So this music brought brought us together slowly but surely. And as Little Richard had said, when he was playing live, they would keep they keep everybody separated. The white people were in the um, upstairs, and the blacks were down downstairs. So, which he was downstairs as well playing his music. So he said after he'd be playing a while, the whites would come down, would climb down to get down onto the floor with, with the blacks and just dance. They just, you know, they just want to get closer to the music and, you know, and come together as the Beatles would say. But it, um, it definitely, it integrated us and, you know, we danced together. There was no black and white when, you know, when rock and roll was being played. It was, it was loved by everybody. It wasn't, um, you know, there was no animosity there, but, um, it, you know, it definitely, it, it's a feel-good music, and, you know, funny as that, it's derived from the blues, but yeah, it's a feel-good music, and, you know, people loved it. It was just, it just took off, and it went big time. So, so that's rock and roll. Um, like I say, it's not that it was started before any of the other genres I'm going to talk about, but it kind of it branched off and then it's, it paralleled, but it was, it was powerful. It was a powerful genre and it still is today. Um, rock and roll influences a lot of um, music today, but okay, okay, I'll give you, give you the genres now. Um, and like I said, if you haven't, if you're still taking time to get them in there, just hurry up and get it in there. But, um, it's the boogie woogie. That's that's one of them. It's a very very closely related um, 
to rock and roll with the the upbeat and 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 jazz as well being tied with the blues so i mean those those two those three those are significant in the role of them in the birth of rock and roll and um believe it or not even even country is involved in rock and roll with the with the offspring of country being rockabilly that was a big big influence on rock and roll you know a lot of people enjoyed the country people some of the country people didn't enjoy the rockabilly but um that branched out to the people that did and then that's what kind of evolved into um in the rock and roll that also went into a couple other genres which i'll talk about but i don't want to blow that surprise man but um so yeah you got countries involved with rockabilly and rhythm and blues electric blues chicago blues swing and western swing all of those are um are a big factor in rock and roll and there's one genre that i'm hanging off on because you'll be surprised at it but it'll make sense once once i tell you but it is it's um it's um it's gospel music that gospel is a big genre um of rock and roll music and that because it's a big factor in rhythm and blues and then rhythm and blues works out to rock and roll but i mean you shouldn't be surprised because if you've seen the previous um previous parts that i have the we know that what um folk traditions came from other countries and african americans brought us the spiritual and the group singing so that that made you know that's what gospel comes from so that shouldn't be a surprise because that's where we got gospel music and that's where gospel is in, in involved in um in rock and roll and if you haven't you go to go to a black church one sunday and you'll see they they bring down the house they raise the lord up and bring down the house with the um with the gospel and it's it's powerful and that's like rock and roll rock and roll is as powerful as that so so that's um that's how we got rock and roll music and um so so i think the appropriate rock and roll song that um that i will play it will be the roll over beethoven it's you know it's part it's really strong the rhythm and blues but they you know chuck berry was could be considered the father of rock and roll <clears throat> because of his of what he brought to um, from the rhythm and blues to rock and roll so here we go Chuck, roll over beethoven chuck berry <laughs> Thank you. 
Gameplaybase.com. Check it out.